G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to go and break down how I feel that the debate between Kieran and Michael could have been better. I was thinking about this for ages, how am I going to tackle this debate and how am I going to throw my input into it. Well, I'm going to more focus on how we can do better in the future at this debating rather than really hit on what content was talked about within the debate. I feel like if if I did want to go down that path, I would rather do it like TSG has done and get a Star Atlas guy on to actually debate with them how we feel. Because I feel like it would be very one-sided with me being heavily invested into Alluvium, as we all know. So I'm just going to go down and just give a few points for KG or the new, the next debate moderator or whoever does it. How Kieran and Michael both could have been better on their side in the debating to make this into an actual debate. I felt like this was more like an AMA from Kieran towards Michael because Kieran did do pretty much all of the questioning towards Michael rather than KG asking a question and both of them answering back at him. Uh, so it's not a shot at anyone. This is just how my, this is my thoughts on how we could have done better and how it can be done better in the future. Like this was pretty much pulled out of a little comment section within Twitter and KG jumped on the idea and hats off to him. He picked up two of the biggest brains in the industry and put them in the same room and let them go at it. Like, not many people may have come up with that idea at that point in time and make it happen. But as we know, once we see something, then we know, oh, we don't want it that way next time. So big ups to him for the first time doing this with the two of them. But I feel down in the future, we should have a better moderator say someone like RK Duern or someone that is either heavily invested in both or not invested in either or have a moder or have two moderators one that's invested in Alluvium and one that's invested in Star Atlas just so we don't get any bias from either side of the teams or either teams because I feel if we had say someone like Andrew from Alluvium moderating it in the end the Star Atlas people may think that he was more biased towards Alluvium I don't feel like he will but I'm just as an example, that in the end, it's better to have people that are either not in either or are heavily invested in either. So we're going to talk about all three of them. I'll start with KG because everything pretty much comes back to the moderation and how it could have been better. So we'll start with him. So straight off the bat, he obviously hadn't paid for Zoom. Like someone of his size with 70 odd thousand subscribers should either have Restream or OBS or something better than that that he's either paid for or even got one of them to pay for as a sponsor or something. Like, it's it costs stuff all, especially for someone like that. So that that's... I think I feel like that was really amateur. Next, he didn't have any set, set questions. It wasn't structured. He didn't really even ask any questions except for the end, asking how... Is there anything in the future for you guys or what's next? That's not even a part of the debate. That's just really giving an outro for everyone. He didn't step in when people either went off topic or were having too much of a go, which both both did go either way. I feel like this is the main point of a moderator. Once a question gets asked, if that answeree isn't answering concise and direct towards what the question was, you need to pull them up and push them back into line and go, no, this is un this is irrelevant to what you're talking, what he has asked, and now we need to get back on track. So many times, Michael started and then he, he drifted off track a lot and talked about things that were irrelevant, which in the end, Kieran even brought, pulled him up on and goes, this isn't what I'm asking, we need to know this. It just added, say, like, probably half of the, deba the debate was not even worth it. It was just shilling Star Atlas. Sorry, I'm going into context here. Content, sorry. But going back to KG, the moderation, terrible. We need someone that has the balls to stop in, stop them, and get them back on track to what we want to know. Going back to structure, I feel like he should have had, say, five questions that he could have asked both of them and started with either Kieran or Michael to answer first, and then you get rebuttals both ways. This would have made it an actual debate. If you look up how debate works, you'll have a for and against, you'll ask a question, for does their input, then you rebuttal backwards and forwards two or three times, and then you have your closing statement. So essentially he could have asked, how long until you feel like 
your game is going to be out and at what stage, something like that. Someone would have answered and then they would have come back and said, that, well, ours is going to be this. I don't think yours is going to be that fast. I think you've under undercut yours a little bit. Da, 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 da. And then they say why they've given those hours or days or whatever. I know these sound like a small little things, but it would have meant that within that hour that we got, we would have got a whole lot more content and better content. Like, this debate, as it was, amazing. It has set up the platform for the future. We know what we don't want in the future. This has been more of a more... This has been more of an entertainment kind of chat rather than the debate that is going to push Web3 Gaming into the future. Because I feel like if this... De- if the debate in the future is done correctly and we have, say, five huge questions, 10 minutes a question, plus intros, outros, there's about an hour, moderated correctly and pushed in the right avenues, a debate like this could really see Web3 Gaming kick off. It would get eyes from everywhere to see what they, what we're building and why we're building it and why it is the future of gaming. So we'll move on to Kieran now. Obviously, I'm Aussie like Kieran is, so, and I'm a part of Alluvium, so I've had uh, brief um, interactions with him just on Discord and whatever. I haven't talked to him personally yet. Hopefully that's soon. And from what I've heard, he's always a very, not aggressive, just pepped up in the mood. Like, he's a passionate, passionate is his word. He's very passionate. Being passionate and being Australian as well, we are usually a lot more controlled confronting to the rest of the world than to what we think and I feel like this is how he come off to people that don't know who he is and may not have realized that most Aussies are like this in general so a few a few comments from people saying that he was really aggressive and confronting and he's going to come off with a sour taste for alluvium yes I can see why you would think that but that's because you don't know who he is like he is literally passionate about what he was doing and as, as he said he doesn't care what Star Atlas is doing he cares about Web3 Gaming and he doesn't want Star Atlas to ruin that for everyone. And that's what really how this come about. And hopefully in the future, that's what we dive into. How can Web3 Gaming get the bo- best out of both of these games? Because I feel like if one of these games fails, Web3 Gaming is going to have a massive hit on it. So yeah, if Kieran comes into it, and this goes back to moderation as well, if Kieran comes back into it, Obviously, a little, a little bit toned down, and that's how a moderator will be able to step in. He goes, all right, just calm down, Nick, here, and just, you wait. You've gave some good points, and now we'll flick it over to Michael. Just a little bit of moderation like that would have calmed everything down. He may have got a, a second to have a breath and then come back into it, not as revved up as he was, and may have not been so aggressive in people's eyes. And next, we go back to structure. If he had written down three... I'm sure he had questions ready to go to Star Atlas, which is a great way to do it. But again, I think the moderator needs to come up with questions with the two of them, like speak to them off air, obviously, and come up with some questions that you're going to ask each other so you have some time to prepare. Like, obviously, these questions were just picked out of picked out of thin air. Yeah, they probably talked a bit off air before starting, but that gave them no chance to actually look up some some backstory and do a little bit of digging. If both of them had come together and made a structure and thought about five questions that they want to talk to each other about and they were able to get some information for themselves on each of them, we would have got so much more out of it. So lastly, we'll go over to Michael. Obviously, he played the person that was getting attacked and he played it very well. To anyone that doesn't know Alluvium, as I said, and doesn't know Aussies that well, you would have felt like he was getting attacked. And it... it, it kind of was, but I don't think it was as bad as what people think it was. But he did do well. He talked really, really thoroughly and knew what he was talking about. But as I said, he he did deviate away from the questions a lot of times, gave us a lot of words that really didn't give much information at first, and then rounded back and come to the answer to the question at the end. This is how all politicians talk. That's what they get paid to do. But when we're at a debate, I feel like we need direct, concise, straight to the point answers because we want to get as much content in as possible. We're not like a politician where he gets to talk about one subject for an hour. We have, as I said, 10 minutes would be a good time slot to talk about one question and answer. So in 10 minutes, you need to give your point, 
give a rebuttal back to the other person's point and let them have a chance to give their point and rebuttal and then again. So you hopefully go backwards and forth maybe two or three times. So I can see why he done it and it ended up that pretty much everyone from Alluvium had that did not know much about Star Atlas now knows the full extent of Star Atlas. He shielded their project amazingly. This is probably why a lot of people think that Michael won the debate. Obviously, if you were from Star Atlas or Alluvium, you probably sided with your person. After re-watching it back, I can see both sides and understand why you would think that. Uh, but I feel like the debate needs to be concise. Michael wasn't concise, and I would take points off him for it. He just needs to get to the point. He got there in the end, and Kieran kind of started moderating him himself and goes, that's not the question to ask. That's irrelevant. Can you answer this for me? So again, that's only something small that I feel like anyone could take away from a de debate. If someone asks you a question in a debate, I know it's easy to deflect and kind of avoid the question and talk about other words to think and then come back to your answer. And it, again, it goes back to moderation and structure. They needed to know these questions before they come in there, even if it is the hour before or I guess they're, they're talking about a five questions. Give them a day or two. Here's your five questions I'm going to ask you. Can you get as much information on these questions as possible? We all would have gained so much more out of that. Now, the last thing with Michael, a lot of people said that he was polite. I'm like, yeah, maybe he seems really polite because you've seen Kieran as the aggressor. But the way that this was set up, it was always going to be that way. Kieran was the one who instigated it, saying stuff on Twitter, which he has done about Axie, as he says in the interview. And a lot of people don't like it when people sh throw shit at their game. So, this is what happens. But again, in a debate, being polite doesn't get you, doesn't get you points. Maybe it has to people, but it, that's not how a debate works. A debate, you need to hit your points. I don't care how polite you are or how aggressive you are. Give me the answers I'm asking you and rebuttal and say why yours is better. It needs to be more to and fro. Doesn't matter how you come across. Obviously don't attack the other person, like fully attack them, but you need to have passion. You need to be, this is why mine's better or this is why we're doing it this way. And he didn't give me any of that. He just, he broad spectrumed what he was talking about for the whole thing. Anyway, getting into content again, sorry getting off track but the, th the couple main points here that I will take away and that we need to do in the future the, moderate, the moderator needs to be moderating they need to be someone that is either heavily invested in both or not invested at all they need to be concise both people answering the questions need to be structured and they both need to be passionate they both need to say what they're going to say and be direct to the point. We need to have some sort of structure set up. We need the time limit set, set up. Otherwise, we're going to end up with ramblings and we're not going to get what we want. So anyway, that, that's my thoughts on how we could probably do this better. <laughs> if you disagree with me or agree with me, let me know down the bottom. If there's any Star Atlas person watching this that wants to come on and actually chat about the whole debate, more than welcome to throw me a DM because I would love to talk about this more. But anyway, this is how I feel like we need to go down in the future. No, I'm not putting my hand up to moderate these two because I am obviously biased on one side. But I believe that this could be done 100 times better and we could have an actual debate that you could put out into everyone's eyes and show why Web3 Gaming is going gonna, is gonna to be the future. It's going to be the rocket to the moon that we're all on already, waiting for everyone else to jump on. But anyway, thanks for watching this long, guys. If there's any new people that are watching out there, hit that subscribe, hit that like button, and thanks for joining me today.